In this video, I'm going to show you a Chrome extension that will help you a lot in finalizing your Amazon FBA product and in doing your competitor analysis. Because in online business, in e-commerce industry, it is very, very important for you to understand your product deeply. Like if this product is having demand or not, and those competitors who are selling that products already, how much revenue they are getting, for how long they are selling, and how much profit they are making. So by doing this kind of analysis with the help of some tools and Chrome extension, you can actually predict the future. You can actually save a lot of your time and money because for example if you think a product and you just purchase that product and launch that product and later after spending two months or three months on that product and too much money on that product you came to know that this product is not profitable or this product is having too much competition or even this product is having no demand like people don't want to purchase that product so instead of putting that money that effort and that time if you learn how to analyze your product without even launching that product so it will be so easy for you to find out 10 20 and 30 products and then finalize any one or two product out of those as per the data, as per the competitor analysis and as per the product research. So if you also want to save your time and money before launching any product and you want to be sure before launching a product that it will work, like there are high chances for that product to work. So keep on watching this short video because in this video I'm going to show you step by step how you can actually utilize Helium 10 X-ray Chrome extension to do the whole X-ray of your product. Yes, because as you guys already know, in human x-ray, within just one click, we can actually see what's happening inside the body. So with the help of this x-ray tool, after just one click, we can actually do the x-ray of whole product. Like what is the market demand of that product? What is the market competition of that product? How much revenue and sales and profit competitors are making? And if you launch that product today, then what is the prediction for you to get the revenue and get the sales and get the profit? So if you know all of that data in advance, then you can actually predict the future for your product. And you can right away select or drop any product if you think that this product will not give you profit. So let's see how we can do this. So as you can see that this is my one week sales. And if I put the filter for past one year and click on apply, so you can see that this is my one year sales. You can see that throughout the year, I got consistent sales and my sales actually increased in December, which was Christmas season. So around 150K was the revenue. And the cool thing about this is that the PPC spend was very less for the lifetime. So basically I don't do any magic. I only use common sense and use some tips and tricks, which I've already explained you in these videos. So if you also want to learn all of those tips, tricks and strategies, you can just go on my Amazon playlist on YouTube and learn all the tips for free just to get the revenue like this. All right, guys. So as you can see here, I'm on my laptop right now. And from here, I have opened Amazon website. So there I will search any product, for example, and then I will run the Helium 10 X-ray Chrome extension on that product. And then I'll show you how you can read that X-ray chart and how you can actually utilize that chart to predict the future of your product and to make the decision. Like if you really need to launch that product or not, and if that product really gives you profit or not. So for example, if on Amazon, if I search for a product, bamboo spice jars, so after typing the name, if I search for that, so Amazon will show me some results against that keyword on their website. Like what products are available for that keyword bamboo spice jars on Amazon website. So if I scroll down, so you can see that these are the sellers who are selling the same product. And this is only the main keyword like bamboo spice jar. And there can be hundreds of other keywords which people are searching on Amazon and purchasing that product. So that is a different topic like how to find all of those keywords which people are searching on Amazon. So if you want to learn that, you can just watch my previous video in the same playlist using Helium 10. But for this video, I'll only show you how to analyze a product, analyze the competition, demand and revenue right so after searching that keyword you can see that amazon is showing me some results like top four results are basically sponsored you can see that they are ads sponsored 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 and if i go further down then i will be able to see the organic ranking like this is a number one competitor you can see that this competitor has more than 4,000 reviews and in last month more than 10,000 sales this competitor has got so after searching the main keyword of your product which you are thinking to sell and after getting all of these competitor listing you need to click on this chrome extension tab and from there, you have to click on Helium 10 and then you will be able to see these three tools like X-Ray Amazon, X-Ray Keyword and ASIN Grammar. So from there, you have to click on this first one, X-Ray Amazon Product Research. So as soon as I click on that link, you can see that a chart has been opened in front of me and this chart is called Helium X-Ray. So basically within just one click, Helium 10 has done the X-Ray for this product for this page and bring all the data regarding that product in front of me in tabular form. So I can actually see every information, each and every single detail for this product in a tabular form in rows and columns. So then I can see that how much potential is there in this product, like if this product is really having a demand or not, 
एंड इफ येस दैट इफ देर इज अई कॉम्पिटिशन और लो कॉम्पिटिशन बिकॉज इफ देर इज अ गुड प्रोडक्ट हैव ए गुड डिमांड बट ऑन दी अदर हैंड आई कैन सी द कॉम्पिटेटर आर गेटिंग गुड सेल्स बट दे आर ओल्ड कॉम्पिटेटर दे आर हैविंग अलॉट ऑफ रिव्यूज सो दैट मीन्स इट विल बी हार्ड फॉर मी टू डाइव इन टू द मार्केट इफ आई स्टार्ट सेलिंग दैट प्रोडक्ट एज अ न्यू सेलर बिकॉज ऑल ऑफ दी सेल्स विल बी गोइंग टू द ओल्ड कॉम्पिटेटर एंड आई विल गेट नथिंग right so from this side you can see that the first parameter i can see is search volume so basically the average search volume for this keyword bamboo spice jar is more than 1000 which is 1357 so anything between 1000 and 10000 is really good like this range consider as a moderate range like not too much demand and not too low demand right so this is good and then if i check other parameters like total revenue so the total revenue for this product on amazon's first page is more than 1.3 million dollar so this is not the revenue of only one seller but this is the total revenue for this keyword in this niche but if i check the average revenue like this value means in this niche in this page in this product an average seller is getting 28000 dollar revenue so that means the search volume is good not too high not too low which is moderate and the average revenue is also very very good so from these three parameters this product seems good to me and it is viable to launch till now so now let's check out some other parameters which is average price so for this product the average price is 29 dollar like that doesn't mean that every seller is selling for 29 dollar maybe some are selling for 25 dollar and some are selling for 35 dollar so this is the average value like if i launch this product and if i launch this product in the bracket of 29 dollar so then there will be chances for that product to sell well and 29 dollar selling price is really good because i always try to avoid all of those products which are having selling price very low like $10 $15 or even $20 because if we launch that kind of product having too much low selling price then all of the money will be spent in amazon fba storage fee amazon fba advertisement fee and shipping fee and later on it will be very hard for these kind of product to get profit but if your product selling price is $30 $40 or $50 then this is a good amount and in that kind of product it will be very easy for you to get profit right so the selling price is also very good and the average bsr which is called best seller rank so basically best seller rank for this product in the main category which is home and kitchen is around 50000 which is also not good not bad but moderate so it can be doable and on the right side we can see that the last parameter which is average reviews so average reviews means like if you launch that product today and if you want to rank on top of fourth page so you need to get that much review at least so if average reviews are more than 1000 2000 or even 10000 so that means the product is highly competitive and if you launch that product so it will take you years to rank your product on first page but if the reviews are low like lower than 1000 800 600 or 300 that means this is a positive sign like if you start getting at least 100 or 200 reviews as well then you can actually get rank on first page no matter on top or last but if you rank on first page you can actually get good amount of sales so from all of these parameters which i can see on the top this product seems viable to me to launch and now after watching or calculating all of those parameter we can just go down and from this table we can just find out all of those competitor like if we leave these four top listing which are sponsored and start our analysis from the fifth one which is this one so you can see that this is a product title this is a product asn this is the brand name and if i scroll right you can see that this is the selling price so 27 22 25 23 26 and the sales are 1400 per month 900 per month 800 per month and 4000 per month and then if i scroll further right i can see the revenue So basically the revenue for this seller is around 400000 and then 20000 22000 100000 so that means no seller is having very less revenue almost every seller on first page is having at least $20000 revenue and even more than that so this is a plus point and then if i scroll right to check out the reviews so from there you can see that this seller is having 4000 review and the second and third seller is having only 168 reviews so this is a very very positive sign that a new seller which has just launched that product and having only 68 review is ranking on top of first page so that means there is a room to grow for this product and if i launch that product today and if i somehow get 50 to 100 reviews within 2 or 3 months then i will also be able to rank on first page and i can start getting a lot of good revenue So if I scroll further right I can find some other data like the ratings the fees the profit the brand name and the date first launch so here you can see that for this product the date first launch is September 9 2023 and today is December 14 2023 so that means this product is only 2 months old having less than 100 reviews and is still ranking on the first page and the revenue is $22000 so basically if you get my opinion that this kind of product is a viable product to launch if you do everything properly like source the product within good price do the listing optimization listing as you properly and work on amazon ppc campaigns properly so this is how using these kind of tools or these kind of chrome extension can actually save a lot of your time and actually make you more confident in launching a product
on so that is why i highly recommend all of you people to use these kind of chrome extension these kind of tools either free or paid to do your initial research and before investing your hardly money into any product which you want to sell because if a product is not good having high competition and it will be very hard for you to get profit so in your initial research in your analysis you can actually get the correct data about that product and you can actually reject that product right away so that will save a lot of your time and a lot of your money and by repeating the same process for multiple product you can actually end up launching a good product which you think is profitable for you and viable for you so i hope at this point you are having a complete knowledge about how to analyze a product before launching so right after watching this video go there try to find out some products 10 20 or 30 and then before launching your product analyze your product in this way and if you want to learn how to find a good and profitable product ideas on amazon with the help of helium 10 then you can watch some other videos in my playlist which can also save a lot of your time and you can actually find 20 30 product ideas within just one or two hours so if you're interested you can watch that video you can also find those videos in the description here so go there watch those video and take your amazon business to the next level so that's it for today guys i hope you really enjoyed the video and learned something great from it so if you find my content really informative and helpful for you, then make sure to like the video and subscribe the channel as well. So you can watch more and more videos like this in future. Let's meet in the next video. Till then, take care. Bye.